For months, we've seen the claims on social media regarding apartment complexes in Aurora that are now national news. The social media speculation ramped up when this viral video was first published. It's from August at the edge of Lowry apartment complex. The narrative that Venezuelan gangs had, quote, taken over the apartment complex, it spread like wildfire. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman repeatedly blaming the issues at the apartment complexes on the property management company behind them. I think it's an out-of-state slumlord and hasn't maintained the property. CBZ management, they own the complexes in question. And several reporters, myself included, we've been trying to reach out to them to get an interview. It's been unsuccessful, but then on October 11th, they took to X, formerly known as Twitter. In a series of posts, they aim to, quote, set the record straight, and they reiterate one of their main claims, that gangs have taken control of several properties in Aurora. Aurora police still telling me, as of today, that they have no evidence of a gang takeover at those properties owned by CBZ. CBZ management begins their social media posts by saying they acquired the properties in 2019, and their goal was to renovate them. CBZ says they contacted city officials for help, but, quote, none were able to take meaningful action. So this isn't the first time we've reported on the property management company in question. Code enforcement and inspection records, they date back to 2020 showing violations at those properties in Aurora. And CBZ also owns properties in Denver. They could do a way better job because it, it's kind of run down in there. Where we reported on the thousands of dollars in fines facing CBZ management. When we get to this level of fines, certainly it raises red flags for us and we are trying to find ways of increase the pressure. The Denver Department of Public Health and Environment is also considering filing criminal charges against CBZ management. I've been messaging with CBZ management today online through social media and I did ask them a couple of questions. One specifically being, why are we seeing some of these similar maintenance issues at properties in Denver without the gang accusations we're seeing in Aurora? I'm waiting to hear back. In Denver, Club Bortle on Denver 7.